Well, greetings. It's the weekend and this is your update. And uh, I like to think of it that we're about to launch into the school year this year. And this week, everything that we did all is kind of centered around that theme. So let's get right to it. Over on the Drums West uh, YouTube channel, we a few weeks ago did a long version of why would you want to take drum lessons? Well, this week we cut that into a short. So it's a really quick hitter and it uh, hits on all those really high points as to why you'd want to take drum lessons or just music lessons in general. So Here's Peter to explain it to you. Drum lessons. Why would you take them? What can you expect? Number one, drums are awesome. Drums are loud. Yeah, they're drums. Trumpets are loud. Saxes are loud. French horns are loud. You can play them loud. You can learn to play them quietly, though. You have to have volume control. The more cushioning around your drum set, the better it's going to sound throughout the house. Less echo. Parents buy all these muffling products and they just want to kill the sound of the drums. The kid isn't going to learn any kind of volume control, any kind of sensitivity control, because there's no bounce back, there's no feedback telling you what the tension is on the drum and how to hit it. The kid's probably not going to enjoy playing a set of muffled drums. You have to understand what it is you're bringing into your house. It's a drum set. And if you are a parent and you're listening to this, why not you hop on it and see what it's like? It's there in your house, right? And then you can kind of get a better idea of the volume that comes from it, how to control that volume. So if you missed the long version of that video, check that one out as well. But uh, the short is right there, and there's a link in the short to the longer one. So I'd recommend checking it out and the Drums West uh, YouTube channel in general. There's lots of great stuff in there. Then also this week, our friends over at Yamaha released kind of a, a parent's guide, a resource guide for students who are starting in band or orchestra. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff there, a QR code right over there. It, it incorporates stuff such as how to choose an instrument, uh, renting versus buying, and locating your local dealer. And I can certainly think of one that I think you should use. So check out those resources if you're just don't know where to begin. There's lots of great stuff there. Uh, and I'm really glad to have that resource available for everyone. Then also on the Boomer YouTube channel, I did a short, again, continuing the theme of getting ready and uh, starting new in, in uh, music, the five things that you can do as a parent to support your uh, new musician. So let's check out that short and you see what I'm talking about. This is one of those wraparound videos. So the uh, ending is the beginning. So take a look. The five things you can do to support your new musician. Realistic expectations. Should they practice every day? Absolutely. Are they going to? Absolutely not. Communicate with their teacher. Find out what the expectations are in the classroom and for home practice. Attend live performances. That's how professional musicians get inspired. Provide a supportive environment. Set aside space that is just for music making. Make sure you're getting quality equipment from a reputable dealer. And they're also going to be a great source of information, such as... So check out that short over on the Boomer YouTube channel. There's also lots of other great stuff, too. Again, if you're still exploring what instrument you want to play, we've got exploration videos, we've got demonstration videos, we've got all kinds of stuff over there. Great resource. Take a look at it. And then over on the Podcasting Store Medium page, uh, we did an essay rewind this week. And this is one that I wrote last year about the time that I got dropped from band class. Well, what happened was, this was in high school, it was sophomore year, and my guidance counselor made the decision for me to put me in Spanish class instead of band class because it was a schedule conflict. And my director, Mr. Lasdow, went so far above and beyond. He reworked my entire schedule to try to make it so that I could do both. But in the end, I really learned a valuable lesson which uh, can best be summed up as you can choose to do anything, but you can't choose to do everything. So in the end, I ended up taking a hiatus from Spanish and taking band. And the way things have turned out, I would say that was the right choice. So if you haven't seen that essay yet, check that one out. Uh, again, that was published last year, but I thought it was worth revisiting because we're entering into the school year. So that is your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.